How to list product on Facebook Marketplace step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with listing products on Facebook Marketplace. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do to get started with Facebook Marketplace is that you have to have your Facebook account because you can't create listings on Facebook if you don't have a Facebook account. So once you enter your Facebook account, you will be able to see on the left side in your homepage, you directly have the marketplace option. And if you click on this option, you will be able to see all of the listings, the recommended listings, and a bunch of different listings for multiple different categories available to you. Now, after you see all of these listings, you can take a look at what if one item that you're selling, if you're already selling items, but I'll show you guys how to create the listing. Now you can click on create a new listing over here and get started with building your listing. Now, the first thing you have to do is choose what type of item you have, whether it's a singular item, whether if it's a car or if it's some property for sale or rent. So for us, we're going to create a listing for an item. Now, once you do that, you have to get started with adding photos. Photos are a very key and essential element of any Facebook Marketplace listing. To show you guys an example, I'll upload these photos over here. And the thing with any of your listings is that you should include multiple different photos that can accurately show your entire product. So we have this photo and I'll put this one over here. So I'm selling these Swishmallows and I have added three photos. Now I would recommend even adding one or two more just to show like the sides or the back of your item just so people can analyze whether or not this item has wear and tear, if it's in good condition, if it's a used item and other general usability signs of this item. So if people can use this to decorate their room or if this would fit in their squishmallow nook. So these items can be a very, very, very niche thing to buy. So make sure that you include as much of a visual element as possible so people can get a better idea of what they are purchasing. Now, after that, you are going to add your title and you will find all of this info in the left side. So you're going to add your title over here, which is going to be Squishmallow for sale. And then I'm going to add new. And then you can also add the names of your Squishmallows or of your items. But I'm not going to add that. And then I'm going to add the price. And then I'm going to add the fact that this is a pair. So I'm selling this in a pair. This is not the individual price. And then you have your category. So choosing your category on Facebook Marketplace can make a lot of difference for your listing. So for that, let's say this is a toy and games. I can list this in toy and games. However, sometimes this might not sell in toy and games. So I can put this actually in women's jewelry and accessories because I know a lot of the people that are buying this are not actual kids, but a lot of, you know, older women, young women, uh, teenage girls are buying these Squishmallows. These are popular in that particular niche. So I can change the category for that as well. However, toys and games is still a fine category. You want to go with whatever is the most applicable. Now, after that, you have your condition where you're going to add new or used good or used fair. Make sure you're not lying on the used element because even if your item is used and if it's not in a good condition, if it's just fair, you've used it a decent amount of time and you're lying on your listing, people are going to see the images and they're going to feel like, oh, this item is not used at all. Like this item, it looks like it, it has been used a lot. So maybe the person that listed this item, they are lying. So even if they were all right with buying something that was used decently, they are not going to be very likely to buy your item because they're going to feel like, hey, if you're lying about this, what else could you be lying about? You know, in the condition of the item, maybe it's far worse than the pictures and more. So make sure to add the condition. Now, after you add the condition, you have more definitive items that you can add. So the age range. So this is going to be the detail for which people are interested in. So the age range for this toy is 12 years plus. Now you want to, if you're selling toys, you guys can see the age range for this is actually three years plus. So you can add that over here. So over here like this. However, the reason why I don't like to add this kind of age range is because 
when you add this age range it has a closing bracket so this is three years plus but i know that people other than three years are interested in this so you can choose to add this or not add it i personally think that it's it's not necessary to add a age range for most products now after you add your age range i'm going to add this as 12 plus or just five to seven years and then you're going to add your character so the character is pippy and then our other character that we are selling is hazelin and then you can add your description so this would be a brand new squishmallow hair available for sale it's in perfect condition and the height of the toy because these toys have heights and these are usually based on heights the heights of these are five inches like this so once we've added a little bit of a description to further describe our item this i recommend for all items whatever you are selling just describe it even if all of the information is listed above still describing it in a few lines can make a large difference so make sure you add a description even if it's short and brief then you're going to add the availability so this is going to be if you're selling long term so if you have like multiples of one item you're going to sell it as stock or if you have a single item then you're going to sell it as a single item so for us this is a single item now after you add this you have your product tags product tags are really essential so we're gonna add toys squishmallows play toy kids toys so you can add multiple different tags i recommend you add like five to six tags that are very directly related to your item now after that you have skus these are not necessary to add however you can choose to add them if you feel like you have you know a stock item then you can choose to add them just to keep track of all of your items then you have your location and then after that you have some other options where you can choose to boost an item after it's published to help you reach more buyers you can convert this into an ad and you can choose to hide it from your friends as well because oftentimes you're not looking to sell to your friends so you can choose to hide it from your friends now after you do that you want to click on next over here and then you can list publicly over here now you're going to click on publish and just like that your facebook marketplace listing has been completed so we're going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be published and i'll show you guys our product on facebook marketplace so now that our listing has been completed we can go into our facebook marketplace selling section and once we go into our facebook marketplace selling section you guys can see this is our listing so it's now currently live and if we click on this this is our little listing over here now you can also share this listing you also have options to view listing edit it later on as well as well as mark it as pending and then you can mark it as sold as well now if you want to further boost your facebook marketplace ads you can click on boost listing over here and this will help you convert your ad into a marketing campaign and reach more people so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you have any thoughts to share or anything that I missed out on, leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. And I will catch you guys in the next video.